are, where you're from, and... Um, well, my name's Sean. I'm the vocalist for Survive This. Uh, we're from Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, we just put out a record in October off Epitaph Records. Um, it was produced by Ronnie Radke, who's the lead singer of Falling Reverse. Um, his first production thing was just kind of a cool thing. We've been really good friends with him for a long time. So everything just kind of snowballed and rolled in together. Yeah. <laughs> so it's one of those, one of those cool, you know. Just kind of things that yeah. kind of happened. It was just like the puzzle pieces were finally clicking together. And um, Ronnie was at a point in his life where he wanted to start producing. And um, I was at a, like a point in my life where I felt like I had the right sound and we just we just mashed together really well so so now you started you basically started it said um that with friends of yours you grew up um together and some friends you guys yeah got together. definitely um it's kind of a cool story like uh billy and i came uh billy's my cousin he's the drummer we came from a family of musicians and stuff uh my grandfather and grandmoms are like in uh the minnesota rock and roll hall of fame and stuff like really that. yeah holy um, shit <laughs> yeah it's pretty cool uh he uh my grandfather was in this band called the orbits and um they toured with like the rolling stones and like all this crazy stuff no but, kid you know back when they were younger and so we naturally were just like always grew up like billy's parents still play to this day like country music and stuff in las vegas like yeah. you know doing covers and stuff and um we naturally just wanted to play music. We're, we're the only two people in the family who kept it going. We just, we, we kind of started together, like, uh, and just kept writing. We were like writing punk music, you know? We yeah. We wrote a lot of punk music, and um, that we just built that bond together. We were always like the closest in the family, and we just we built that bond together. And Daniel was his, like, middle school best friend, and um, he sings and plays guitar in the band. He actually taught Billy like his first drum lick. Really? Yeah, like Billy, <laughs> Billy started off actually on guitar, and um, he taught him his first drum lick. Uh, I think it was like a Green Day song. So yeah. Was, yeah like, you know, and Billy was just like, man, I'm so excited. So we, we just had this like three way bond thing, and we've always just like stuck together. And um, you know, even if we were doing other projects at the time, we still always wrote together, and that was like just something that we knew. Like, I don't Something know, was gonna come yeah. of this. Yeah, that it was yeah. like it was like always the end result was like somehow it's gonna be us together. Like no matter how long I went to another project, you know, or somebody else was like we always stuck together. And um, finally, we just like really buckled down and just got lucky. Yeah, and yeah. said let's do this. Yeah. We're gonna hit it. And yeah. So now you're from Vegas. Are you on the entire work tour? We are. You are. So you're hitting every date then. Every single we'll day. see you again in a couple weeks in Noblesville then. <laughs> Not Noblesville, what the hell am I talking about? Tinley Park. Holy okay. shit. <laughs> in, awesome. in the mind's the first thing to go. <laughs> I, I, I literally, I, I sometimes don't even know where we're at. Like it, it took me a minute before I figured out I was in Indiana today. So, um, like, we don't even, we barely even know the day of the week half the time. Yeah. You know. So now you guys touring, is this like your first major tour? No, uh, we did uh, Bury the Hatchet beginning of the year okay. with uh, Falling in Escape. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, that was like, other than that, yeah, it's been uh, smaller tours. Yeah. But, did... but yeah, like, as, as far as like big tours, I mean, it would be this and, and uh, Bury the Hatchet Bury tour. Bury the Hatchet. But I mean, this was like our dream tour. Yeah. And it's our first work tour and we have a full tour. Like, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, so. that's pretty great. That, that, that's pretty cool. You guys got your first yeah, big tour. So it's, 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 uh, it's kind of like a really unique and like rewarding feeling to be here so after warp tour is over what are you guys gonna do um well we, we we're slowly starting to write for the next record and we're um just like probably gonna tour more yeah for some tours just, just trying touring. to find the right tour right now um there's a few tours we got offered but we didn't feel like it was the right fit for us yeah um so, but you kind of want to stick you don't want to get off off sound you always want to kind of stick yeah with exactly your type of we're trying bands to and we're trying to, uh, more or less too, is like we're, we're not trying to go backwards either. And, uh, uh, you know, we've done a lot of a lot of these smaller tours, which are, are awesome, but they're just like these hardcore grinding tours. And, yeah. And we're, we're kind of maybe trying to be more like opening up and like getting a little more exposure instead of, you know, keeping the fan base that we have we would like to expand. More, so. Right. So we're really trying to push for just like a little better slots. Better so you're saying this, you cut one album now, you got, yeah. now when you do your second, are you gonna stay, keep the same sound? Are you gonna progress to something? Um, I, th I think we're like, we're, we're definitely like, our, our sound's unique as it is, so um, the fact that we just mix a bunch of stuff and kind of do what we want, 
um, with like those those choruses. I think the biggest thing is we definitely want to keep our the feeling that we have of just having those like radio sound choruses and then doing whatever we want versus yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, who does most of the writing for you guys? Um, it, it's kind of a collective thing. I mean, like our band's kind of cool. Like we'll literally there's things where like I mean I've literally written guitar parts or you know even the drummer or you know anyone we, we all collectively kind of come together um daniel and i do a lot of the writing for the majority of it and then um but it's like everyone has like their say their words their yeah. there's always input like it's never like uh i don't know it's not one of those things where it's just like one person it's not like where you come in with a lyric and then he gets a riff and then he puts yeah, it yeah, on. yeah. it's more of a collective yeah it's like we good. we want to make sure everyone's happy with the song so you yeah because we have to play it in the end so it's well like, yeah <laughs> you know what i mean like if if you like go out there and they're like man i really don't want to play this song you know it's like yeah because like you know you just didn't like it it's like you know so we, we definitely like to keep our voices strong with each other just so we're happy you know? yeah because if we're happy the band's going to be more successful you know but, and if the band's out and, and if you guys are having fun at stage it it, it translates to the audience exactly. yeah. yeah i mean you guys i mean because if you guys are jumping around having a great time you know the audience is gonna yeah be exactly and <clears throat> i feel like too like our our record and then our live show i feel like we're a live band so it's like you know our record's cool and we, we really enjoyed it we had a great time you know making and everything you know it's but a record's never up to like the part that you want you always want to like fix something or change something or don't like the sound or something yeah where like live it's like you are what you are like you're creating your sound yeah. with your pedals and your amps and your guitars and you know so i feel like we just bring that energy to the table like so you actually have to see like what we're writing like this is our vision you know i think that's what's cool it's like a lot of people they they hear a record and they enjoy it but when they see us live then we came from a band that they were like, oh, I like this band too. I love this band. And that's like a great feeling for us because that's what we wanted. You know? Right. We, we, we didn't want to write a record and then not be able to perform live. And that was like a big, yeah. big issue for us was like live. Like yeah. That's, that's like the number one thing for us. So So now away from music, you, you're home, War Tour is done. You guys go home. What do you guys do just to relax? Is there anything that you kind of do off of music? Um, I snowboard a lot. Um, Billy longboards a lot, for the most part. I mean, I, I don't know. We we get some weird stuff like off the last tour. It was actually kind of funny. Um, I worked for this dude named Jeff Beecher. I don't know if you ever heard of him, but he has this uh, thing called Beecher's Madhouse. It's like a pretty big, like weird club in okay. LA. And there's also one in Vegas. And um, I opened the one in Vegas and was working with him. And for a little bit, I was basically like a go-go dancer. Really? <laughs> Except for. I was the lead go-go dancer, really? but I was in an Elmo costume. So, oh my god! So you could come to Vegas and basically you see this crazy elaborate like club slash like freak show thing, oh and I was wow. like dancing, grinding Elmo. What? So, um, that took up a lot of my time. <laughs> oh my god! That is fucking hilarious. That is the best. That's not like oh I go fishing. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just relax. You know, it, I dress up in an elbow now and and grind on people. Yeah, <laughs> I got paid to right. You know, and it's funny too because you know you're out there. This is Vegas, so people want to party. A lot of rich guys they don't like to dance at all. So I'll have the hottest girls ever, and the guy slips me like a twenty or forty bucks, and he's like, "I want you to dance with her." You're just no like, shit. Yeah, you're like, all right, you know. So I'm basically like a stripper too. So holy fuck, <laughs> that's awesome. That is the best story ever, ever yeah. in the history of Asgard. That is the best story, non-music story ever. <laughs> so yeah, I mean. We do. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna get played back over and over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not one of my finest moments in life. Hey, but, but you know, you made money and, I made and money, it was fun. I and paid the bills. Yeah. yeah. I mean. And nobody knows who you are. You're in a damn costume. Well, yeah, that was actually a, a funny thing is Ronnie came into town shortly after, I remember. <laughs> and um, he goes, Hey, man, what are you doing? I want to hang out. And I go, Well, I'm at work, but I'll comp you in. Come and hang out at the, come and hang out at the club. And he goes, All right, cool. <laughs> so he goes and he texts me. And he's like, where are you at, bro? I, I don't see you. Like, I'm here. I'm at the bar. And I'm like, I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> oh. The next thing I know, I come up off this table, and I start grinding and dancing on him. He's like, oh, what the heck going on? Then he looks through my little, my little face plate, and he goes, Sean? <laughs> and then he's, he just starts cracking up, and he goes, it's funny, because he's like, we just got off tour two weeks ago, sold out around the United States. 
and now I see you in an Elmo costume, <laughs> dancing in a club. And I was like, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's, what that's I do. my job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we expanded on that I don't think we could top that at all. So um, thanks for stopping by. Yeah. Have a great tour. Awesome. And um, we will probably see you back up in uh, Tinley Park here in a couple of weeks. Definitely. All right, great. we are sitting here with Slider and Mr. Dick on Asgard Radio at Warp Tour.